先輩やで Hi everyone, it's Sweetbug. I'd like to start off this video by saying thank you to Jazzy for inspiring me to be weird, be different, be myself. She posted a video a little while ago that um, I left a comment saying how I would like to do my hair in different colors the way she does. Well, I decided to go for it and I cut my hair real short since it was falling out from surgery. And I uh, lightened it a little bit in some spots and dyed it pink. But since my hair is so dark, it didn't um, lighten it enough to go pink pink, so it went like a magenta-ish color. But I will put in a picture here so you can see the color it actually looks like outside. So thank you Jazzy for inspiring me to go ahead and do that. Now, on to the rest of it. Um, February 17th, 2016, I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, and it's weight loss surgery. They remove like 80% of your stomach, and there's no rerouting of anything, so, um, and, and it's less, um, less complications than, uh, the bypass. So, my starting weight was 353 pounds. My current weight is 266 pounds, and if I did it by math right, that is a loss of 87 pounds. Um, I'll put in uh, comparison photos here if I remember. So anyway, it's been a while since I posted a video because depression seriously hit and it hit big time. And I don't know, maybe it's been about two months since I posted my last video, I don't know, or close to two months. Maybe it's not been that long, I don't know. But. You know, um, it, it, it really hit my, because of my social phobia, my agoraphobia, I don't make friends well, um, because I don't talk to people and I have trust issues and stuff like that. So, um, outside my family, well, outside my parents and my sister, I have one friend that I've had for 20 years and I think a lot of you that left comments and some other people who in my personal life has said that they think she was jealous and that the jealousy was too much because she's also overweight and she was smaller than me. But when I told her about the surgery, she was not supportive at all. She tried to talk me out of it. and. The first three weeks after surgery, she never called, never texted, didn't want to see how I was or nothing. So, you know, and when when she did talk to me, it was because my mom had called her. So, um, I seen her maybe twice since I had surgery, and I've talked to her once or twice since surgery. She won't return my text or phone calls. So, if she's going to be that petty, that's on her, that's not me. And so that kind of got to me, got me down, because she was my best friend, you know? So, you know, I'm sorry she feels like she can't talk to me. So I'm not calling or texting her until she makes an effort to contact me. If she wants to have something to do with me, then she'll contact me, because I don't force myself on people. So, anyway... So, and also that we hold a lot of, of our emotional stuff in our uh, fat. So when we start losing our fat, it releases the hormones and stuff that cause us to be um, emotional. So that might have something to do with it because it was like rapid weight loss, you know. So, um, yeah. And um, if you watch Nirvana, she had... Um, she had a video recently that uh, was explaining in more detail about how that works. So, you should check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. Um, I'm, I'm keeping uh, myself busy. I'm trying to fight the depression. Um, I have a lot of hobbies. I draw, paint, I work with clay. Um, I recently started wood burning. 
and I recently started uh, candle making and in an effort to try to help myself overcome some of my fears and anxieties I um, since my doctor put me on this medicine which I will talk about in a few minutes um, I'm going to have a booth um, one at a festival hopefully if um, I get my application in on time excuse me um, if I get my application in on time uh, it needs to be in by the end of next month but if I do mm -hmm. um, it's a festival to help our local parks in the community and um, I would like to have a booth there set up for some of my hobby stuff because it's accumulating um, where I'll sell some of my candles and my arts and crafts like the wood burning and um, the clay stuff I work on and then this week I'm going to have my um, other application and fee in to the other place that it will be for a three day weekend in September and they said the other day by email that it was first come first serve and they do have spaces still available so I'm going to do that so anyway um, about a year or so ago the doctor had me on a medication that I only took when I needed it so it wasn't a daily thing it was any time I left the house where I was feeling anxious and could possibly, more than likely, have a panic attack. So, I was on the lowest dose that she could give me because we just started it out. And it seemed to keep things in check, you know. Just barely. But, um, I started taking it, taking it again recently. And I took it and I completely was like, ooh. Because I felt buzzed out of my mind. So, um, I wasn't used to that, so I had to stop the car for uh, park for a little bit until it passed because I didn't expect that to happen because I'd taken it before. But what I didn't take into account was I had lost 87 pounds, and <laughs> medicines affect you differently based on your weight. So, yeah. So, if I'm driving, I have to take the medicine like two hours before I drive. If somebody else is driving, which is usually the case somebody else is driving, I, it doesn't matter when I take it, um, but the medication hits your hits my system within a half an hour. So, yeah. So the weight, weight thing, when you're taking medicines, be careful when you lose weight dramatically like that because it affects you differently, as I found out. So anyway, um, I've also had a couple um, bouts with dehydration. Um, when you, me, I get off track a lot, and if I'm working on something, I put everything into it, and I zone out to everything else. So when I'm sitting there working on artwork or something, I forget to pick up my bottle of water, even though it's sitting right there with the lid off, ready for me to drink it. I forget it's there, and I don't drink it. So... One time, I actually think I shared it in uh, my last video, or the video before, that I had actually ended up in the hospital because, due to dehydration. I didn't expect it to be dehydration at that time. But, um, you know, this last time, um, my urine got very dark, and I thought I had an infection, and my stomach started hurting, and I thought, crap. Anyway, guys, you're dehydrating. You need to drink more. So I made myself drink and drink and drink and drink and drink until it got you know, my water in for a few days and the pee cleared up and the stomach started clearing up. So remember to drink your water, especially in the summer months, especially. And and drink a little more than they tell you to. Um, and also, drink electrolytes. Something with electrolytes in it at least once a day. Put that in there as part of your fluid intake because you're peeing all your your, st your electrolytes and stuff that you need, you're peeing it all out as much water as you're drinking. So, you know, the emergency room physician told me to drink, um, like, um, Powerade Zero because it doesn't have a big cal all the calories and the carbs and stuff that regular Powerade has. So drink that to replenish your electrolytes because that's also why my legs were hurting so bad last time. So anyway, um... My sister and I, we decided we were going to do something fun together and do something that we hadn't done before. And we ventured out on our own, um, an hour away 
from where we live to the drive-in. We waited in line for three hours, but it was worth the wait, and I'm glad we got the room we did because the line was backed up for miles. So it was great. They had um, the old 50s music playing on the, on the speakers. I love that music. It, it was great stuff. And we saw The Secret Life of Pets, which is a very cute movie, and we saw Ghostbusters, which was really good. Um, the only thing I will say about Ghostbusters, no spoilers by the way, the only thing I'll say about Ghostbusters is that um, I'm a fan of the old one. People younger than my generation, um, they would probably appreciate it more than my generation and older would because um, a lot of them hadn't seen the originals. So, you know. But I'm a sucker for classics, and I usually hate remade movies. So, I'm actually, I was pretty surprised how much I liked it. And I wanted to see it because it was an all-female cast. And it had some of my favorite actresses in it, so I thought, why not? So I went and seen it, and it was really good. And so I recommend seeing it, even if, even if you don't want to because it's a remade movie and you love the old one. Go see it, have an open mind, because it wasn't too bad. It was alright. Um, and let's see, we had fun. We also saw the car, um, is it called Ecto-1, I think? If I'm wrong, forgive me, it's been a while. But anyway, um, I will put in a picture here so you guys can see. And, um... The pants I wore in that picture, I will be talking about those later. Um, but my NSV, <laughs> which happens to be the pants, my NSV is that about five years ago, my mom and I was shopping at Fashion Bug that was going out of business, and um, I bought three pairs of, no, it was two pairs of jean shorts. And we got them home and they didn't fit. They did not go past my hips. There, so there was no way I was going to button them or anything. So, anyway, about two weeks ago, uh, I was cleaning up my room and I thought, well, why not try these on? Just for fun to see how far I've come. You know, if I can get them up a little further, if I can get them up and they not zip. You know, just, just, just see how they compared to five years ago. And I put them on, I thought, oh crap, these are going to fit. These are going to go up. And they went up past my hips. I could button and zip them. I started crying. I'm like, oh my god. And I'm just like, what? And I said, they fit. I zipped them. I buttoned them. And I was crying. I cried for my, like five minutes because I was so happy that these pants fit me. So, And I had not wore jeans in, ugh, I'd say four years. Because, you know, big girls, you know how it is when you, and guys probably do too, when you're bigger, you buy them to fit your belly and they fit nowhere else, you know? And so, you, so you've got these swimming in the legs. So, yeah. So, and you know, you'd had to take, I had, I would have had to have taken them in too much in the legs, you know? So, but anyway, they fit. I was very happy. I lost my train of thought, so anyway. But the fit. I was happy. And um, I'm going to start going back to the gym. Um, I work out at home and I have lots of videos and stuff like that. And I, and I have a treadmill and some weights and stuff that I use at home. But um, And my dad has a machine that I use at his house. But there's just some things that a gym can offer you that you can't do at home, you know? Like, when you work out and you want to use massage chairs or something. Excuse me. Hopefully you can't hear that and keep belching. But anyway, um, uh, but it, my dad and his girlfriend have started going to the gym, or are going to, um, because my dad, his doctor told him he has to lose like 20 pounds or something. My dad is not that much overweight, but you know how doctors are. But anyway, um, 
the doctor wants him to lose some weight because he's, he's pre-diabetic, so... And his girlfriend is diabetic. And... And she eats lots of bad stuff, like cookies and all kinds of sweet stuff that she shouldn't have because she's diabetic. And she wants to lose weight, so she'll be eating her stuff. So, anyway, um, I'm going to uh, give him, write some stuff down for my dad, some tips on some stuff that he can do, like um, eat stuff like uh, us WLS patients eat. He can eat more, but, you know, normal size serving. But his problem is, is that, like any farmer, he eats his biggest meal at dinner time. And it's usually like 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. So, he should be eating that, a, a big meal like that for breakfast, not for dinner before he goes to bed. So, anyway, I just need to kind of write some stuff down and give him some tips on some stuff that might work for him, too. But anyway, we're going to start going to the gym together because um, it's just funner when you go with somebody else. But um, I'm going to sign us up for classes with the trainer because um, I feel stupid at the gym. Like, I'm doing something wrong and I feel like people are talking behind your back going, Oh my god, she's so stupid. She's not doing that right, you know. I feel like they're doing that instead of coming and offering advice, you know, or help. Yeah, they're probably not, but, you know, with your anxiety and your, you know, your mental disabilities, you don't always think straight anyway. So, anyway, um, so I don't feel like that anymore. I'm going to take the class from the trainer and have him show us how to properly do this stuff and all that kind of stuff, you know, so we don't feel stupid. And, um... Wow, I think that's it. I can't really think of anything else to say. And I knew I had something else to say earlier, but I can't remember what it is. So, anyway. Hi Nirvana. Hi Brit Brat. <laughs> and hi everybody else. So, I'll see you guys next week, hopefully. And if I think of anything else, I'll talk about before I post the video. I've already made this video three times already, but something always happened. So, I had to erase and start over. So I'll see you all next week and remember to chase your butterfly.